is in jeopardy, and that means the bullet train as well. Senior investigative reporter Stephen Stock has uncovered new documents showing that there's mismanagement of the project, and that could soon impact and commuters all across the state, Stephen. That's right, Jessica. When the state accepted $3.5 billion from the feds for this project, it came with a catch. High-speed rail must make significant progress by December 2022, or the feds could withhold future transportation dollars from California. Governor Newsom wants to focus on completing construction in the Central Valley of high-speed rail, but we found out that the numbers show they might not be able to do even that and still meet that federal deadline. The viaduct and bridge work nearing completion around Fresno shows the massive ambitions of what's been billed as the country's largest single infrastructure project in more than 50 years, a train capable of traveling from San Francisco to Los Angeles in under three hours. I think that uh, we need high-speed rail. This is not some fanciful pie-in-the-sky vision of the future. It is now. But while politicians publicly touted the benefits of a high-speed rail system... If you go to Japan or China, they're, they're not talking and debating about high-speed rail. They're building it. Internal documents we obtained show years of warnings from insiders that the project is headed down the wrong track and may not be completed for decades, if at all. People say, hey, the sky is falling. Well, the sky won't fall. We discovered that current construction numbers simply do not add up to finish even the first part of the project on time. Construction spending data shows the authority is building at a rate three times slower than needed to meet schedule. If builders can't finish work in the Central Valley by December 2022, the state could lose millions of dollars in federal grants. Future transportation money meant for things like roads, bridges, and BART. Is this project in crisis? Yes, it is. Lou Thompson is a former director at the Federal Railroad Administration and a member of the team that created Amtrak in the 1970s. He now serves on an independent peer review group overseeing California's high-speed rail project for the governor and the legislature. Truth is that the pace of construction really will have to pick up rapidly if, in fact, it's going to be finished before the 2022 deadline that now has been set. Thompson believes the only way the project can continue as designed is for the state to raise more taxes and drastically increase construction and pace. You could even have a soda tax. 2% soda tax would, would probably fill the gap. Other internal documents show that the private company overseeing the project, WSP USA Inc., has failed to deliver its contractual obligation. While WSP has received tens of millions of dollars to keep the project on track, the gap between what WSP has been paid as part of the work plan and the work that they actually finished is growing dramatically. A gap that now stands at nearly $100 million, a failure rate, according to internal documents, of 30%. Performance this internal email called, quote, dismal. We need to get those behind us. At a meeting earlier this month, WSP Chief Program Officer Roy Hill acknowledged that his team is more than a year behind schedule, but he says they are working to close the gap. But the feds aren't convinced. In this February letter, the FRA determined that high-speed rail is unable to, quote, expend funds at a pace necessary to complete the project according to its schedule. We will finish the projects. I'm confident. Joe Hedges serves as the state's chief operating officer at High Speed Rail. Hedges blames most of the construction delays on obstacles like weather, utilities, and endangered species living along the rail line. We were starting to remove all the issues, clearing the alignment. Project by project, you're going to see construction coming back up. How can you convince the taxpayers of California you're going to do what you're going to do when you haven't done that so far? Again, as uh, I can't speak to yesterday, I can only speak to today and to tomorrow, all right? And that is exactly what we're doing. But what will we see in 2022, December 2022? You're gonna see the infrastructure complete with plain rail on top of that. Infrastructure in place. It's plain, what we call plain, plain rail, simple rail, that is basically is capable of running a train on it. Not a high-speed train? No, probably not. Now, Hedges does say he hopes to have a high-speed train on some of those tracks by 2030, but of course that's way past the deadline. That also raises questions about whether that would violate the terms of Prop 1A, the $10 billion bond measure approved by voters back in 2008.
In just two days, on Wednesday, this Wednesday, the High Speed Rail Authority is scheduled to deliver an update to the state legislature detailing all these problems with the projects. Our sources have given us an early look at parts of that report, which outlines a new vision and new plan for the project that appears to focus for the time being anyway, and for the most part, only on the Central Valley, from Bakersfield to Merced, meaning Silicon Valley and L.A., at least they're out of the picture for now. That's it could be 50 years from now. To That's have a lot spent. of money. That's right. This is this is big. And if the money is taken away by the federal government because they missed this deadline, one source told me this project's dead in the water. That gentleman was pretty confident. The end he of your story. He's pretty confident. Though. We'll see. I told him we'd be back to ask him if uh, in a couple of years you'll we'll be saving that, that tape. I'm sure. You bet. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen.